back to mine and this little girl's channel. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're not new to my channel, thank you so much for following us. Ain't that right, little girl? Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is part two of the DIY no money, no budget, whatever, to my room. Room's still a mess. Um, but I posted that video yesterday, and today we're part two. So the first day, if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it. I'm not going to get too much into it, but just um, that video really was just about the whole um, concept and vision. Um, and this is still on my bedroom. Um, I've started some crafts already. Um, so I'm going to get straight to it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get straight to it. So I've worked on these. Let's see if I can do it from turn my camera around. Let me turn my camera around, guys. She has to be in the video, guys. But anyways, I'm going to get straight to it because some of my subbies said I do ramble and I know I ramble. So, um, the family canvas that I didn't, that I started, I touched up those words and this is three canvases that I already had. So I put family on them. So I touched those up. The flower board, if you don't remember, go back to the first video or if you didn't watch the first video, go back and watch the first video. It was a flower board, half unfinished. So I cut some pieces up already like in squares and I filled them in with my flowers kind of and all you do were I'll, I'll do a little a couple you know to show you and I did two of those two of those and they look like so see how pretty guys please don't walk on my stuff ma'am don't walk on my stuff ma'am uh, onyx get 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 over here Okay, and then so I cut up, I've cut a circle out. So I'm going to do the same as the square. And I've started already. Same to show, so I can do a kind of a tutorial bit with you. But, um, and I'm going to do it in a circle thing, kind of like the square. But that's so pretty. Look how those turned out. So pretty. Already it's looking good, guys. And then I got these either from my mom, which means we've had them since growing up, or a yard sale or something years ago. It wasn't purchased just for this project. Like I said, go back in the first video. Um, these are things that I've had or dug up and going to recreate. So that's a true no money uh, remodel or whatever you call it. So these are just like my example is like the Christmas lights that you put in your window or the in Christmas time people put these in their window and you plug it up it lights up so I have two of these and what I'm gonna do with these is just paint them the color scheme like that picture that's my bedroom set too kind of the inspo of it all so I'm going to go ahead and fill in these circle foams and then I'm going to paint these and then that style picture that I have downstairs that my hubby got from the Goodwill that has style in gold on it which I'll refresh your memory I'm going to paint the lettering on that in the color scheme as well so I am going to go ahead and get my glue and go ahead and show you how to do this. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I've got my camera propped up. I got my ring light today, and it's really looking super good. And I'm going to have the big light on. It's so hot outside today, so it's super hot. But anyways, I'm not going to ramble. Shout out to one of my, sub my new subscribers. Actually, I'm going to give the post note shout out to her. Um, Sierra, oh, Sierra, 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 I can't remember her last name, oh my god, I'll look it up, she's in my comments on the last video, but shout out to you, Sierra, 
Um, everybody go follow Sierra on her channel or social medias or whatever. She told me I ramble and I do ramble. So I appreciate your honesty, Sierra. So shout out to you. And I will always remember you because you've been here since the beginning. So, um, anyways, back to the subject. So, what we do, what I did, um, let's see, I kind of got like, oh, okay, anyways, I got like a, like a stick pin. And up close, I'm going to show you, kind of just like poke the holes. Onyx, do not bite my stuff. And I'm going to kind of just poke them. That's where I want my flowers to go. You don't have to use glue. I do because it secures it. And you just kind of poke them like so. Let me turn on my big light. Guys, I was on track. Okay, so you poke them like so. It's a stick pin, so it's kind of so hard to see. Okay, so after you poke them, actually I'm going to dot them so you guys can see where I poke them. Sierra, you have to tell me after this video if I rambled, okay, after this. So, let me zoom in on my camera. Some. Down. Whoa. Stop chewing my flowers, little girl. Stop. Okay, so I've poked holes. So, just to show you guys, you don't have to do this. Or if you're blind like me, um, I'm going to kind of put the dots where I poked the holes and this is just a foam board from your local dollar store 99 cent store see poke the holes like that and I've already got some in there to show you it started like this and and then this is a square one ends like this so let me get my glue and I think this one I'm kind of just going to do um, reds because I'm going to put some in my living room as well but this video is just about bedroom so right now I'm just paying putting glue just regular Elmer's glue you could use Gorilla glue hot glue if you want to keep it real the first one I use nail glue and super glue because my sister had told me about this project and I was just curious so I'm going to do one or two poke one or two on the actual camera and then I'm going all right guys <laughs> my camera of course anyway so I did the glue and these are your regular flowers like from any local dollar store you take them off the plastic stem most of them should come off if not then you probably will have to cut them if some of them have wire in them if they have wire you can use wire cutters or something like that but usually it's pretty simple and it should look like so Okay, so I've got holes already in it. So I'm going to take it and simply stick it in the freaking hole. No pun intended. Like so. And it should stick with the glue. Okay, take another one like so. Stick it. All right, hold on. I'm trying to do it where you guys can see it. Stick it in. I can see the hole. I'm blind. I already had to put my glasses on. Some of them you might have to make the holes a little bigger. Some of them are stubborn. Life is stubborn. And I'll do one more, and then I'll finish the rest off camera. So take it. Stick it, insert it in the hole, like so. Okay, I'll fill one more up. If this dog will stop chewing on my flowers, 
she's not the center of attention. She doesn't like it. That's what I just text my mom. I was like, she's all up in my video. Okay, so take this, stick it in the hole. Like so. See how cute? And it's so easy, guys. It takes two seconds, but I'm trying to show y'all. So I'm going to bounce out for a second and finish up the rest. And I'll be back. Hey, beautifuls. That was longer than anticipated. Oh, my God. Because I had to adjust it a little bit because the fullness is like to your, um, what do you call it, to your discretion. And personally, me, I want to save money as much as I can and not buy a lot of flowers. Because honestly, guys, these flowers are expensive to be like plastic fake, no shade. Um, because... I got three bundles and I didn't even finish the whole board. That's why I didn't make a whole board because I had our, and, 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 and I knew I was going to make a video out of it and the anticipation and, uh, you know, the time and the money that I was using as a budget. Like I wasn't even halfway through that standard ass poster board and I knew I would at least need three more bundles and I had already purchased three and that was from two different stores. I purchased a, a bush, a, like a, one from, two from the dollar store. One was $30. I think the other was like four. And then I purchased, there's a, a store called Roses. It's, it's almost like a TJ's Marshalls dollar store type vibe. And those were $2.99, $3.00. And I purchased like two or three from there. Like, and the dude really like looked out and gave me a discount because some of them were like $4.99. So I was like, oh, uh -uh, I'm almost to my $20 budget. And how am I going to be a hypocrite and try to tell you guys how to ball on a budget, be bougie on a budget? And I'm like going all in. Um, so yeah. But, anyways, done rambling. I did the circle ones, rewind the video, you'll see the before, and here the after. I was going to do all red, but remember, I told you it took me a minute, I had to finesse it to look full, and still it's got a little gap right there, but once you hang them, it'll look so dope. Oh guys, I'm so happy, please do this project, it's super great, I love it, I did pink and like a magenta, it's hot in here guys. This is red with a little daisy sunflower. Sunflowers are my favorite. Recap, here is the squares. Uh-oh. Then my little sizzle gold right here, Onyx chewed the side of my canvas. So she got a little pink in. So we'll fix that. My teeth look so white today. Okay, so anyways, I'm about to burn up, but yeah, yeah, and next I'm going to paint these, remember, and then I'm going to um, paint the letters of the style on um, the Goodwill picture for $5 that my husband got me. Um, look, he, I'm thinking... Remember the mirrors I told you all about? I'm thinking about maybe painting these. Like I said, this is gonna be a three part video, guys. So I don't, I'm gonna try to get all of the stuff designed and DIY'd in this video. And then maybe next video, I'll do the hang up and the reveal. So comment down below what you think I should do. I don't know. And reveal, I'm just going to reveal to you all. And I'm going to record like to my man and to, um, you know, my mom or certain people that kind of knew what I was doing. But I don't know. Do you think I should paint these or not? But And then this light. I have a cute little bulb I was going to change for this. I don't know. You'll see. But I'm going to paint this. So, guys, I'm telling you, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. 
And like I said, and I'm not rambling, I've really been serious. Um, my goal and my dream and I'm, my affirmation, I'm claiming it, will be eventually to like come surprise like you all and, um, you know, people that um, reach out to me and kind of uh, bougie, budgetly remodel a certain room or thing um, that you guys would like for me to do. It's so easy. It just takes patience. It's a lot of patience. And, you know, just, it takes just being you, be you, you know, I'm, I'm me. And, uh, one of my subscribers, um, called me, um, what'd she say I was? I'm authentic. I just, I mean, I don't know, Sierra, that, you gave me so much inspiration yesterday and especially do you know, all this stuff that we're going through right now in the world and personal things and shout out to you, girl. Like, I really appreciate it. So, you guys always push hard. Go for your dreams. Um, uh, I was watching just like you all, you know, and I just, for five, six years, it's been in my short, long-term goals. And I just, you know, I was just, you know, being lazy and I was you know, talking myself out of it, but, you know, I've got children watching me, my, my two kids, and I would like to be an inspiration for other people, so, anyways, enough with that, we always got to have a little inspo in my videos, so, hop off to here, I'm going to start painting these little things, which I'll dock you a little bit, I'll document it, and then, um, that style picture, so, actually, this might have to be chopped up, I'll probably have to decorate some in this video, summon another or finish them off camera and show you guys but I know you guys like to watch so we'll see how it goes but I'll be back